Praise the Lord and God bless you. Welcome again to Midday Manor. This is a triumphant Thursday that God has blessed us to see. And we're continuing in the Word of God. Today we're looking at the book of Romans again. We are continuing on in the book of Romans chapter number 13 on today. That'll be coming right up. Amen and God bless you. We thank God for you being with us on today. This is Midday Matter. Ten minutes in the Word of God to bless your lunchtime hour. Amen. Or anytime you're able to view us by replay, we thank God for you being with us on today. My name is Christopher Hurston, Pastor Triumph Church, Roanoke, 420 South Pollard Street. That is in Vinton, Virginia, 24179. Uh, you can view our information at the bottom of your screen. Amen. You can also see our social media outlets. Amen. You're watching us now. If you're on YouTube, you're watching us on our Triumphant Living page. Uh, but we also have our Triumph Church Roanoke page uh, on YouTube as well as Facebook and Instagram. And then we're also at Triumph Roanoke on Twitter. Amen. And you can view our live streams and our programs there. But we thank God for you being with us on today and pray something is said or done to bless you on today. Amen. May God be with you and keep you as we go through the word of God in Romans chapter number 13. Amen. And he reads as thus, he says, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from God. And those that exist have been instituted from God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval. For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore, one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for the authorities are ministers of God attending to this very thing. Pay to all what is owed to them, taxes to whom taxes are owed, revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, honor to whom honor is owed. Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this world. Word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is far gone, the day is at hand, so then let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Amen. It's a pretty straightforward and short uh, chapter, but this uh, chapter came into play over the last couple of years. And it's still in play now with the pandemic. Amen. And the first thing is uh, Paul is talking about in this chapter about governing authorities and people go back and forth and it was discussed and disputed about the valid the validity of this chapter in regards to government mandates you know, we understand that during the pandemic uh they closed or attempted to close churches to where we couldn't worship uh and then they attempted and then they put a cap of how many 10 people and 250 and all that stuff we went through during the pandemic in the name of a health uh scare and then it was even people of like faith were uh wondering where this scripture fit into that should we be subject to governing authorities or should we not and really it was it was a case of where we understand this scripture to be 
I help. Let's give you background. Uh, two backgrounds, actually. The first background, I think I got time today, too. The first background is what environment that Paul lived in. Paul was a Jew, but he was raised as a Roman, so he was a dual citizenship. He was a descendant of Jews, amen, but he also was raised in a Roman environment where he understood he had rights, and he flexed those rights, amen, to benefit his ministry whenever it accounted to, because when he was in prison, he had a right to defend himself before a magistrate or judge, and, and even in some cases, it moved up the rankings as he began to present his case uh, for people that, that incarcerated him. Um, and so he wasn't uh, unfamiliar with the role of government in his life. Uh, and so he was, he was part, and, and the Romans were occupying, occupying force in, uh, in Jerusalem and Israel at that time. So he understood going against a government that wasn't allowing you to be totally free. But yet he still said be subject to the governing authorities. And so what Paul was seeing was that he had every avenue in his mind uh, to, to be a good citizen. And we do understand it's talking about governing authority. It's not talking about church. That's why he mentions taxes and he mentions tribute and all those things. He said, no, be a good citizen and do the things that you're required to do as a citizen of these governing authorities. And so he kind of lets you know he wasn't talking about church. Church folks shouldn't have a sword, you know, to kill one another when things go wrong. He gave you avenues for that. And so we see he understood that, but he understood being a part of it. But when he had his avenue to to speak, he spoke for the word of God. And uh, we know the famous line, thou almost persuadeth me to be a Christian. Because of that, the Roman government was even became more friendly to Christians at the time. But the second thing, second thing we want to look at is also we are the uh, uh, he was a descendant of the Jews. And so he had a mindset that, uh, he understood what Daniel went through. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went through the carrying away of Babylon. I mean, there was 400 years and being tossed between the Greeks, the Persians, and different governing bodies, finally the Romans. Uh, and so he understood that not everything, I mean, how do we, uh, uh, obey a governing authority that plucked out the eyes of your king so the last thing he saw was his son being slaughtered and that happened um, before the carrying away into babylon and so they were uh ministers of evil but these people look at daniel as well daniel obeyed the governing authority until it got to the point where it told him he couldn't serve and so uh in a sense i understand people that didn't that fought against government telling churches whether they should worship or not worship. Um, and so it, it was it was a debate amongst pastors and preachers of whether they should go in and out and all that stuff. But I understand both sides of the argument. Um, and, and, and you know how it is, give an inch, they'll take a mile. You yield to the government one inch. The next thing you know, they're going to use that as a precedent. So national security of health. And so we understand that too but we should understand that the scripture is not invalid and that we should be good citizens we should obey god but when it comes to the point of where government as in china is telling you you cannot worship god you cannot serve god uh you cannot do and uh, then you get into a point of where we have to uh serve god over man uh and and people look at oh they told you couldn't have ga large gatherings because of the spread of COVID, uh, but they gave you other avenues. You still had the virtual avenue, but a lot of people were were given the ability and the leeway by local authorities as well to have outdoor services, even though the 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 the, the neighborhood wasn't uh, zoned for concerts and things of that nature. Um, it was allowed because of the pandemic, so the government. In a lot of cases, work with churches to do something that kept people safe, but also allowed them the opportunity to worship in a manner or gather in a manner that was safe. It wasn't good for anybody. We're glad we're uh, mostly back and some are back and, and able to do more than we did before. But still, that is the case that we should still strive to be good citizens 
in our government. And so God appointed these governors to do the things that he wants to do, whether it was good or bad. He would use a government to punish his people, as we talked about, the carrying away of Babylon. And he did his governments and even those to help build the temple. And so God orchestrates all those things. So we pay our taxes. We uh, are not above the law. We still is we still are obedient to all those things and so we have to stay sober stay mindful of salvation um, because we are people of light we ought to stay from sexual immorality orgies drunkenness quarreling and jealousy amen and all of that is a part of being a good citizen of christ it's all a part of it and that's not make a provision for the flesh and to gratify its desires. Amen. It's telling us how to conduct ourselves as good citizens of the Lord Jesus Christ as well as the government that the Lord has allowed us, amen, to um, to serve under and to be citizens of. Amen. That's my time. Hope you got something out of it on today. We praise the name of the Lord for his many blessings and everything that he's done. I hope something to say to done to bless you on today. And we pray that your day is a blessed one in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Reach out to us. Share this uh, message, comment. Let's let us know. Just interact with us. That helps us uh, with, with spreading the gospel and being presented to other people uh, to watch. Amen. So the gospel and the word can be a blessing to somebody else as well. Amen. We thank God for you. We praise God for you in Jesus name. Amen.